Welcome to EpiInfo 7 Training. In this video, you will learn how to create a skip pattern for a questionnaire in the Visual Dashboard using an if-then statement. Skip patterns or conditional logic make surveys flexible and efficient. They are used to move respondents automatically through a questionnaire based on their answers to questions. Skip patterns also help save time in the data entry process especially with long or complex surveys. In this video, we will create a skip pattern with an if-then statement using the check code function. I'm in the Create Forms module in the Form Designer. However, to double check what I'd like to skip, I need to be in the Enter Data function. What I'd like to skip is if the patient answers male and gender that will skip pregnant and go to question one. Has the patient traveled outside the U.S.? I'd also like it if the patient answers no to has the patient traveled outside the United States. We'll skip question two and go directly to question three. So I need to get back to the form designer. And I'll use the check code editor to create the skip patterns. The check code editor is open, so I'll need to choose the field block for action. I'll expand case report, which is the page that I'm on, and start with the field of gender. I want the action to happen after the respondents made the choice, and on the left, EpiInfo 7 has opened the field block for me. In the lower right, I'll need to add a command to the field block. The variable is gender equals, and I'll have to type in male. Then we'll go to traveled and click OK. EpiInfo 7 has added the code on the left. I also wanted to skip a question if the respondent had answered no to traveled. So I've opened the field block for traveled. We'll add an if then statement there. So if traveled equals no, then we'll go to drugs, which is the third question. Now EpiInfo 7 has all the code I need here on the left. I'll save my work, and we'll close the editor and go back to the form and test it to validate that the code works. We are back in the form designer but I'll need to go to Enter Data to test the functionality of the code. We are in the Enter Data function. We'll go to Gender and click Mail. And when I tab forward, it automatically moves me to question one. And if I choose No for question one and tab, then it moves me to question three. What I've put together works. And we've just created two simple skip patterns in the questionnaire. Thanks for watching, and you'll be getting more detail in future user support videos.